What's up, guys? Welcome back to another. Wait. Welcome back. <laughs> What's up, guys? So Jesse is here. We are doing a long overdue. Q&A that you guys have been wanting since the last time we hung out and we didn't have a chance to do it. So here we go. Subscribe to Jen's channel. Yes. And you know what? I'm sick and tired of all the comments you guys send to me that you hate me and you love her. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not a bad person. I don't know why people would say that. I still love Jesse. Yeah, so and I you still, love, still Jen. love Jen. Jen. Uh, <laughs> today's video, it's called the ex-girlfriend boyfriend tag. With your questions included. You guys submitted so many questions on my Instagram. So here they all are. I stopped and grabbed a couple of them, but mostly all of the questions are, when are you getting back together? Are you back together? And that was like literally all you guys cared about. Okay, well let's answer that question right now. Yeah, so the answer is no, we are no, not. No, we're not getting back together. Come on, but we used to always come up here during That's videos. That's funny because this question is, can we get a Nylon Bamboo update? <laughs> yes, come here. You have to I watch can't pick the them, I can't pick them up. Them. It, do you think if I pick up Bamboo, he'll bite me? He's not gonna be happy, but go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm scared. Bamboo. They did not like me anymore. Yes, they did. Bamboo just tried to bite me. Nyla hissed at me. You're saying that so wrong because Nyla was so excited. Watch the vlog, you'll see the vlog. Do you guys want to still get married one day if you found the one? Oh, whoa, that's a good question. <laughs> of course. I think, yes, absolutely, I would love to get married. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine me being married? I wonder how many- Actually, wait. When I saw you the first time the other day, immediately, why did you grab my hand and hold it? It was like you were look- Were you looking for a ring? Why did you do that? I don't know. I just, I just wanted to look at your hands. But why? I don't know, because I just remember your hands. And I was just like, <laughs> are they the same? <laughs> That's an interesting thought. They didn't age. Thought. <laughs> Here's a question for you. That's a common question for me. I went on your Instagram and asked. What are some good qualities that you've seen in me in our 10-year relationship? You're very funny and that that's like you have fun, good energy, like you're easy. I feel like we were like not only lovers, we were best friends, so I think that that's a good a really good quality to have in a partners to have a good friendship as well. I like doing things with you. Like we had fun doing like anything. Mhm. Mm that's important when you find a partner um, that you that you but you would find fun and things that aren't supposed to be fun together, which is also a good thing yeah. in a partner. What about me? What are my good qualities? You're very thoughtful. You're very honest. You're very trusting. You're the most trustworthy person. Um, those are like three real big ones. Like you always, like going back to thoughtful, you would always go above and beyond for your friends, for me, for any situation, it may be their birthday or just like something nice for them or a present, you'd always go above and beyond. And yeah, those are probably the most that stand out the, the most. Very cl like clean, I like, like you always smell good, <laughs> breath never stinks. And those are another really important thing for her. <laughs> So some of these bitches out here be stanking. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> but also, you, there was there was things about you that was very good, but that were bad for me. Really bad yes. for you? Yes. Like oh. you were very, um, like you babied me, right? Like you'd always take care. You do all my laundry. You do you everything. You would do all my laundry. You sold everything. Everything was neat, and I, and I could be a slob and know, you know, and not have to do it for myself. So that was a bad thing, I feel like. Your mom used to warn me and say, don't, don't do, do that stuff for Jesse. Uh, <laughs> another good thing that was good for me is that you're very smart with money and I'm very bad with money. So we made a good, you know, team when it came to like saving money and spending money because we got to use some of it, but then I didn't get to use all of it. <laughs> so I probably would have went around and bought Lamborghinis and stuff when we were popping on YouTube. But I didn't. Um, but now I'm broke because she's not here. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Is there going to be a Wawa run sun? Well, we're in New York City. Is yeah, a Wawa they here? don't have Wawas mm. in New York City, unfortunately. So unfortunately, no. But no. there's the old Wawa runs you could watch. What <laughs> What feelings do you get after seeing each other after a long time? I'm excited, but like before, I used to get a little anxious and and like weird not in a bad way just like was to like see me or yeah just anxiety 
see like right before I see you. I feel good because I see that you're happy and you seem happy and your house is cool and you're in New York City and you're doing your thing. So I feel good. How about you? That's not what they mean. They mean like how do you feel about seeing me? <laughs> I was really that you you want to know the answer to this I wouldn't. more than I which is great. I want to give you this. How do I? I feel great. <laughs> like what do you want? I feel I feel I feel closure that you're happy because I was always really worried that you weren't happy. Okay, how do I feel? I feel totally natural being around him. It's like it almost feels like we didn't skip a beat. Like everything feels. The yeah, same. we have a, a long history of ten years. It feels so. very natural to be around him. And you slipped and called me babe. Did I? You did. When? Um, the other day. I didn't even read, I didn't even catch it. Well, you were like, you did it. You were like, bit, bit. You did it twice. Babe, babe. You said babe, and then the other time you were like, bit. Yeah. <laughs> Is, but that was interesting to hear you do that. Well, because probably that's just what it was. What keeps you going through tough days, this peep has recently lost somebody in their family. I do a lot of working out. Um, a lot of good friends. A lot of good community where I live in Los Angeles. I would say those are my things, community and and something positive. For me at least. What about you? I try to stay positive during a tough time. I do run a lot, so I think like running helps me like be in my zone, get my thoughts out. Also, I try lately to turn something negative into a positive thought where if I'm like really upset about a loss, I think of like, what would that person's life look like or how could their life have been better? And I try to implement those thoughts into my own life. Like I was sad that my parents didn't get to do certain things in their life. So I try to live my life to the fullest and experience as much as I want to experience in my life. Like that. Will you ever move back to the tri-state area? Yes. <laughs> I'm actually, now that I'm in New York City right now, and it's it's nice weather, I like it. I don't know, if I, I've moved seven times in the last eight years in the house that I, in Venice, within a square mile of each itself. Um, and if I have to move again, I'm leaving LA. And I would come to New York City. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Is there ever any weird tension between you guys since you were together for so long? Weird tension? Maybe like a little, but not. Explain, what do you mean weird tension? Mm. Not much, but maybe, I don't know how to explain it. Shit, that's a hard question. I don't feel any weird tension, but I definitely feel some deep emotions because we were together for so long. Do you guys wish you had kids? I think there was another one that said, or do you want kids or something? In general. Yes, I want in kids. Life. I want kids, but I'm getting old, I'm 41. Like, if it doesn't happen, I'll just adopt. Or not adopt, I'll, I'll, that's the only other way to get a nah, baby. Well, no, no, <laughs> you can't do buy it at the grocery store. Yeah, I was gonna go over to aisle seven. You could like foster, like, oh, like, right. like if like a like a like a twelve to sixteen year old kid, you know, didn't have a family and he still got a couple of years left of high school until he figures it out or her. I would do that. For me, I don't know if I want kids anymore. I feel like I have to meet the right person and enough time has to go by to see if we want children together. You should probably freeze your eggs. I know. It's like, I don't want to deal with I that. I heard it's, it's not the most comfortable thing, but I you know. should consider it. I know, I thought about it. Hey, anybody want to hit me up? <laughs> Sponsorship freezer. That's no, that's expensive. terrible. Don't say that. No, I, I would do it because that way I could get it done. I mean, it would be really good to like... It's a very informative process. Right, right. It would be probably people. very educational for women that would be considering it. You could make a whole piece about it and like, yeah. this is what it is. This is what I went through. This is my experience. So, But I yeah, know. I would maybe still want kids. I used to want kids when we were together because I thought that was going to be like the life for us. Oh, shit. I did. Mm -hmm. I, but, um, we things, got two are, kids. things are They're different. They're just staring at us. I know, the little kittens. Are you planning on shooting more content together? Yeah, we're doing it right now. Here we are. Yep. And there's more videos coming. We'll each I think you should come to, I think you should come to Los Angeles and I want to introduce you to my friend group and then you might be inspired to move there and get all hippie and do all the hippie things and cuddle puddles and, and hippie what? spend four hundred dollars on a smoothie at air one would you do that i don't know no see J jen is a full-on east coaster not necessarily Philly chick i love this life okay so this is not a question but i feel like this would be a good answer for you 
Why do I live in New York City is because for me being single, not like in a way where I'm trying to go meet tons of guys, not like that at all. It's just a very exciting life for me because I have my own freedom. I'm not stuck in a suburban area with nothing to do. I can go out of my house and do anything really quickly. And there's so much to do here. It keeps me very busy and I enjoy that. Have you met anyone better than me yet? <laughs> Well, I'm, I met somebody that I thought was good, but they are horrible, <laughs> <laughs> like very horrible. I'm not gonna say their names, but listen, we have all of our things. I shouldn't say. Yeah, obviously, I haven't met someone that I got into a ten-year relationship with. No, <laughs> so I would say no. What are some life lessons you've learned from each other? Ooh, a good life lesson for me is learning to communicate better. That was the biggest for our 10 year relationship. It's communication and how important it is and how to navigate that in a healthy way mm -hmm. with someone that you care about. But you have to have tough conversations and I was good at avoiding those. So I learned coming out of that, I'm good at it now. I learned it from the from what like, unfolded at the end okay. and all, yeah. My life lesson that I learned from Jesse, life is very unexpected. You never know what the outcome is gonna be. So I guess like you always kind of have to take care of yourself too. Um, like don't forget about yourself. And I think like that's something I learned like coming out of it because of everything. What do you think of me now? You changed a lot. Jesse has grown as a person. I think that he has done a lot of like healing in ways that were like helpful for his life and I know like the healing you know a lot of people like like holistic stuff but but he has done a lot of that work and I think it actually is helpful that stuff's your, important you shouldn't just life. put air quotes like a lot to of that. mental health no but I'm saying people do that like pe people are like uh like well we gotta like break Jesse's that so stigmatism. hippie and like Yes, right. he is. The and, hippie and, shit's and, good, guys, I'm telling you. Because a lot of our viewers are always, we're all from the East Coast. So we're like tough East Coasters. Not all of our I mean, a lot, but a lot. I feel like a lot, because that's we, they could relate to us, because we are from Philly, and we had this East Coast goofy and messing around. And even for me, when I moved to Los Angeles, and then I'm like doing all this like weird hippie mindfulness stuff, I'm like, whoa, what is this? Like, I'm not into this. This is like not my East Coast tough it's vibe. It's very different. But if you can get past that story in your head that you need to be this way and kind of understand mental health and spirituality and all these little things to help with past traumas in your life and meditation, if anything out of this video that you guys learned some things about relationships and communication and us and you guys got to see that you guys can learn from this experience that we went through hopefully yeah a lot of you are asking like that they, they came out of a relationship or how do you keep like that good balance i mean i guess just listen to this video and how we talk about everything because yeah because technically i think it's healthy. technically you should like technically a lot of relationships that ended the way ours did and people that like went through things completely disconnect from their their past partner like completely radio silence they don't even talk to them but we still have a connection we're still connected in a positive way and it's really healing to have because if you have that negative mindset of someone that was like your soulmate you know and you have that energy it's just never going to be good so it's like almost just like drop your ego and like make up and forgive. Did you just ask though? Because then I have to say it too. What was your question originally? What do you think of me now? What do you think of me now? What do I think of you now? I think, honestly, here's my honest, honest, because I have some grief. I think of you, like, I want to think of you now that you're super happy, you're living your best life, you're doing what you want to do. Um, but me coming from my super mindful weird hippie cult that i have all these great people around me and they're like helping me and like community i've learned is like really important i just worry that you don't have a solid community here in new york city i have a really good friend group okay because you keep your personal life very secretly on the internet so i don't know not necessarily i mean i'll see you out but... having dinner but like I don't know. I don't know. I'm just consuming. I'm just, so this is what I'm thinking. I just think. I just think. 
that's one thing I worry about. I'm like, I hope you have a core community here for you. I have good friends, I do. Okay, good. But then I also think like, the last six months, I feel like you're having the time of your life. So you're traveling, you seem really happy, which made me happy, so. Yeah. Why do you look sad? You look like you're gonna cry. Because it's emotional. <laughs> Why? It's good to cry, because I'm worried about you. Um, okay, I'm done. You go cry. <laughs> I care about you. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So I hope we answered a lot of your questions. Um, there are a couple questions on Jesse's vlog also, so check that out. And I have a vlog coming too. We're gonna go finish it. We're gonna go ride around skateboarding and stuff in New York City. So make sure you watch all of the videos. Yeah. <laughs> no, <don't. laughs> watch my video too. I'm like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, watch. <laughs>